Today in math, we are going to be practicing doing some subtraction problems with zeros in many different places. This lesson is from Unit 6, Lesson Number 10. Let's go ahead and get started. The first problem to work through today is 240 minus 80. Now, when I first look at this problem, as you know, we always start over in the ones place. I see in the ones place, I have a zero. So that must mean that I need to ungroup because if I have a zero in the ones place, I obviously need to ungroup. But if you were looking very carefully, you will see that I actually do not need to ungroup in this problem. Look in our ones place. We have zero minus zero. I can do that. Just because there's a zero at the top does not mean that I need to go and ungroup. If I try to do that, and now I try to subtract in my ones place, now I have 10 minus zero. And what do I know about subtraction and addition? I can only put one digit in each of the place values. So I cannot put a 10 at the bottom. That does not work with addition and subtraction. So I need to pay very close attention to what the numbers are. Just because there's a zero does not mean I automatically go next door to ungroup a 10. Or if there's a zero in the tens place, I don't always ungroup in the hundred. I need to look at the numbers. So in the ones place, I have zero minus zero, which is zero. That's one of our easy math facts that we know very quickly in second grade. Let's move to the tens column. I have four tens minus eight tens. Now let's think about this. If I have four, can I give you eight? Does that work? No, it doesn't. Four is a smaller number than eight, so I can't do that. That means I need to get more tens. I get more tens by going over to the hundreds place. Now I have two hundreds, and the hundreds are going to ungroup one of their hundreds to give me 10 more tens. So I used to have four tens, now I have 14 tens. Let's see, 14 minus eight. I'm going to use touch points to solve this problem. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. So I have six tens left. And then let's look at our hundreds. I have 100 minus zero hundreds. So I have 100. So the answer to this problem is 160. It's very important that we're careful, especially if there's two zeros in the ones place. Just because there's a zero doesn't mean we have to ungroup. Let's look at another example. 507 minus 126. You can see that our top number has a zero in the middle now. But before we look at that, as you know, we always start in the ones place. I have seven minus six. Hmm, those two numbers are very close together, aren't they? If I have seven and take six away, how many do I have left? That's right, I have one left. So did I need to ungroup for that? No, I did not. Seven is larger than six, so I did not need to ungroup. Let's move to the next column, the tens. Zero minus two. Hmm, if I have zero, can I give you two? No, I can't, because that means I have nothing. It's like if I have no books and a friend asks me to borrow two books. I can't do it. So I need to get some more tens. Let's go ahead and ungroup one of our hundreds. So I used to have five, now I have four hundreds. And let's give ourselves 10 tens. 
Now, instead of 0 minus 2, I have 10 minus 2. So 10, 9, 8. And last but not least is the hundreds. I have 4 minus 1, which is 3. 381. The next problem involves one of our big hundred numbers. As you can see, up on the top, we have 800. Now, I've done a few of these problems before, and we even practiced them into the thousands a few days ago. I know if I have 800, I'm probably going to need to ungroup a few times in this problem. But just to be sure, I always start in the ones place before I cross anything out. Let's check. 0 minus 9. Can I do that? No, I cannot, so I go next door to our neighbor. But our neighbor doesn't have anything to give us either. So that means that I will need to start ungrouping from the hundreds in this problem. Now I used to have eight hundreds. They're going to give me one of their hundreds. How nice are they? Now, how many tens were in a hundred? Hmm, this was a little tricky last time. There are ten tens in a hundred. So that means that when I take one of the hundreds away, I get ten tens. But my tens notice that my ones, they don't have any either. So they are so good at sharing, they're going to take one of their tens away and give ten ones over to the ones place. Now all of my numbers are so happy and now we're ready to subtract. Let's start in the ones place. 10 minus 9. Can you help me out with that? 10 minus 9. How many do I have left? 1. Great job. Next, let's go to the tens place. I have 9 tens minus 1 ten. So 9 minus 1, which is 8 tens. And last, I have seven hundreds minus three hundreds. So seven, six, five, four. Four hundreds. So my final answer is 481. Now these are the types of problems that you may see on your math activities for today. As you can see, there's an equation. And then at the bottom, there are two questions for us to answer. Now these questions, we are either going to write yes or no. The first question is, did you need to ungroup to get 10 ones? And the second question is, did you need to ungroup to get 10 tens? Sometimes both answers might be yes. Sometimes they both might be no. Sometimes one might be yes and one might be no. So let's solve the problem to find out. Let's start in the ones. Zero minus nine. Can I have zero and give you nine? No, I cannot. So I need to get more ones. Let's take one of my tens to get me ten ones. Now since I did that, Right here where it asks if I needed to get 10 more ones, I'm going to need to put yes, because I did need 10 ones. I didn't have enough, I had zero. Let's subtract in the ones place. 10 minus nine gives us one. Okay, now let's go to the tens place. One minus nine. Can I have one and give you nine? No, I can't. So I'm going to need to go to my hundreds to get me 10 more tens. Now, since I did that, my second question was, did I need more tens? I'm going to write yes again. So this question, I needed new tens and new ones. Now let's finish subtracting. Let's do 11 minus nine. 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Good, and then five minus three, five, four, three, two. 
221. I needed new tens and new ones in this problem. I could not solve it the way that it was originally. Oh, now this problem, I see those two questions again, but I'm noticing that I don't really like the way that that problem looks horizontally or side to side. I don't know about you, but I prefer when my problems are vertical, up and down. That just helps me visualize the problem better and it helps me to line up all of my numbers. So let's go ahead and write the problem again on the side, but this time let's write it up and down. 403 minus 138. Now I'm ready to subtract. I'm going to start in the ones, just like always. Three minus eight. If I have three, can I take eight away? No, I cannot. Uh-oh. My neighbor doesn't have anything to give me. So who does that mean I need to start with? That's right. That means that I need to start with my hundreds. My hundreds are going to need to ungroup. I used to have four hundreds, now I have three hundreds. And when I ungroup that hundred, that means that I got 10 tens. So I can put yes down here, I needed 10 new tens. But I have 10 tens, which is great. My ones, I still don't have enough. So I think I'm going to need to take one of those tens to give to my ones. What do you think? I think so. So I used to have 10 tens. Let's take one of them away and give myself more ones. So this is another yes and yes problem. Let's go ahead and use our touch points to subtract. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Good. Now nine minus three in the middle, nine, eight, seven, six. And the last one, three minus one, which is two, 265. Let's practice one more problem before you work independently. Here's our last problem for this video. 850 minus 519. Just like always, we start in the ones place. Zero minus nine. Can I tap zero and give you nine? No, I can't, so let's ungroup one of my tens to get us 10 ones. Yes, we did need 10 new ones. Let's subtract. 10 minus nine gives me one. Good job, second grade. Now let's go to the tens place. 4 minus 1. Let's 4 take 1 away. 3. So did I need to get any more tens in this problem? No, I did not. Because I can take 4 and take 1 away. I can absolutely do that. So I don't need to ungroup. And last, let's do 8 minus 5. So 8 Seven, six, five, four, three. Another three. Three hundred thirty-one.